Thanks. We're continuing to track the effects of Hurricane Ian. A Southampton native who now lives in Florida is working to keep a large group of senior citizens protected in the midst of the massive storm. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunfer joins us live in studio after checking in with him throughout the day. Paris? Chris Mary, Western Mass News host of Getting Answers, Dave Matson has a son in Fort Myers, Florida. Greg Matson is the resident director for a senior living facility, and today he's tasked with keeping them safe during Hurricane Ian. Greg Matson, originally from Southampton, moved to Florida 22 years ago. He's the resident director at a senior living facility. And that was the big topic is what do you think? How do you, you know, do you grow safe? Um, you know, of course we respond, of course we're going to be safe. That facility is located in Fort Myers, Florida, where Hurricane Ann is expected to bring devastation to the area. Their building is located right on a river, as he shows us here in this video. When we talked with him a little before noon on Wednesday, it was still calm. We are uh, 13 feet above sea level, um, but they are talking about surges up to 12 to 18 feet. So we're a little worried about that. But when we checked back in with him around 2.30 that afternoon, he said it was bad and the facility had just lost their roof. This is the video he sent Western Mass News around 4 p.m. showing aggressive winds. Matson says about 230 people were still inside the building, mostly residents with some staff and family members. They had a plan for when the eye of the storm was expected to hit their area. We are all gathering into, that's when the height of the storm is supposed to hit, category full category four is supposed to be hitting the building. Um, will be in the atriums, which is an enclosed center part of the building. No windows, um, anything like that. They've been preparing for a hurricane since June, asking residents who needed help walking, who needed oxygen, and who needed insulin to be kept cold. But even with all the preparing they've done, Madsen says the best thing they can do is hope and pray. The unknown is what's scaring us right now. Like I said, we've never experienced anything like this. this the closest thing that would be Anything like this to this, this magnitude would be Hurricane Andrew in 92, and that was absolutely devastating to Homestead. We hope we're not another one of those. That's our prayer. Matson says he's also tasked with keeping the family members of the residents informed about what's going on, but he says that's getting harder and harder as the day goes on. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News. Paris, thank you.